Hello, here's a, a devotional thought for Wednesday. This morning I was reading uh, in the book of Haggai, and uh, something just really stood out to me. The people are gathered together to uh, to offer sacrifice and to praise God and glorify Him, but they're in kind of the ruins of where the old temple used to be. And they've started to rebuild, but it's just not the same. And the prophet uh, gets a word from the Lord and shares it with the people. He says to them, Who of you is left who saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Does it not seem to you like nothing? But now be strong, Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Be strong, Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord, and work. For I am with you, declares the Lord Almighty. This is what I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. This is a beautiful passage. Some of the things I love about this passage is just the invitation from God to continue to be strong. And even in the season when we look at ourselves or we look around us, and things just don't seem like the way they used to be. Things just seem so small or so diminished. It just seems kind of like nothing in comparison to what we used to be able to do or to be. The word of the Lord continues to come to us and say, be strong. Continue to pursue me. Continue to dive into all that I've invited you into. I love this idea. Be strong and work, for I am with you, declares the Lord. My spirit remains among you. You do not need to be afraid. And this is a powerful invitation from God to us in this season to continue to dive in to continue to pursue him, to continue to seek him, to continue to trust in him and experience all the goodness of what he's offering to us. Even when you look around you and it seems like things are just not the way that they used to be, and we are tempted to give in to discouragement, the Spirit of God says to our hearts, Be strong. Trust me. Even through hardship, God will do something powerful and something beautiful. Later on, he pronounces to the people, the, the glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house. He's doing something amazing. He's doing something powerful and deeper and richer. And I think it's possible for us as individuals and for us as a church that we can come through this season, even a very hard and difficult season. And on the other side, we can be refined and purified. We can be made much more whole. We can come through this season saying, I know God more deeply. I've experienced him more powerfully. I'm more personally committed to him. I long for him so much more. I've seen the work that God has done in my life, and I have personally invested. I have personally pursued him. I, I've done what this passage has called me to do. I have been strong, and I have worked. I have pursued him. I've given attention and focus and desire into becoming more like Jesus. Can you imagine who we'd be on the other side of this if we each individually passionately pursue Jesus? Let's dive in together and see all that he'll do in us and through us. May God continue to bless and keep you. Amen.